can barely see you. Where? We're live, by the way. I don't know if anybody's on yet, but we're live. Yeah, I'm trying to pull it up. Got a bug. I had a bug on me? Yes. <sighs> yeah, we're live early. Well, when you go live early and you leave it up and you have dead airspace, that's not good. So sing a song. <coughs> I can't sing a song right now. Morning entertainment. You want me to sing it? Yeah, looks like there's somebody coming on. I can't see. <laughs> can y'all hear us? I need someone to set, tell us you can hear us. Mm. And. 19. Okay. And it just, there's people commenting, but you don't like me getting close to the camera. No. So. Can y'all hear us? Someone tell me. If yes, you can. I can hear you. Awesome. Yes, indeed. Can hear. Yes, I can. Good morning. It takes a moment for the comments to register. Ah, you mean it's not instantaneous? It's not instant. No. Well, what a bummer. <laughs> I swear. Well, weather report. It rained all night here. Yes, it did. And um, it's a little damp and ch not nothing, and maybe 60. I'd say um, it's a little more than 60, but you're right in there somewhere. You know, yeah, real close. Of course, we have nothing to complain. I was texting my um, oldest son earlier, and he said the wind chill factor was minus 12. So we're not complaining one little bit yeah. about the slightly damp, yeah. you know. <laughs> that was back in northwest Arkansas. Yeah. Wind chill this morning is minus 12. You know. Darn. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Thank Hopefully you got a nice gift. <laughs> Your gift is just living with me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> right, that's what I'm supposed to, uh, yeah, we would all know about that, don't we? For yes. sure. Yes, yes. Anyway, where, uh, where we are right now at the moment, we'll fill you in on that right quick. We're at the southernmost entrance to uh, the Itchatucky Springs State Park. Our campground is not too far from here. And uh, behind us here, although you can't see it from where we are, uh, the Itchatucky River is just right behind us here, just beyond those trees that you see right behind here. Um, it, we're under the pavilion here, just in case it starts raining. We did want to try to do it outside with a decent backdrop. And another reason why we're here at this particular spot is because there is a tower just right across the road that happens to carry our particular service. And we have some really good upload speeds right now. And just want to make sure that nobody's having any buffering issues. Shouldn't have because the upload speeds were over 16 megabytes per second. So usually if we're at 10 or above, we do pretty good. So anyway. Well, I'm sorry that y'all are in such deep freeze. I was reading some yeah. of the comments. Um, this is one strange oh, wow. temperature. I mean... One strange winter. It's weird, yes, really weird. It's, um, yeah. it's very unusual. I don't remember ever being in northwest Arkansas where it was... A wind chill of minus 12. During the day. Yeah. <laughs> At night, maybe, but maybe, maybe. not during the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we have uh, we have one friend back there that uh, mm -hmm. lives full time in an RV. He's a park attendant at one of the campgrounds that is open all year round there. Mm -hmm. And talked to him the day before yesterday, and he said that his all of his water pipes are frozen in his uh, fifth wheel. So uh, he's having to battle with that off and on. We haven't made our discussion yet, Ted. Uh, our announcement. We were waiting until I think we told her when we'd be here at ten thirty. Yeah, so, so we're going to give it a few minutes. We're just chit chatting yeah. for a minute. Just we came on early, and I know, and we, my, we're happy that fifty-two of you so far have come on yeah. early. And it's all good, uh, by the way. Don't don't get all upset. It's no, all good. It's good news. Yeah, don't get all nervous. And I, I know one person thought that we were uh, giving it up and going to go off the road. No, but it has been no. an, an involved process of because this is, you know, our lives we're talking about. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we had we had a lot of a lot of logistics that we had to work out. A lot of thinking and, and planning and discussing and I'm going to lower this down just a um, little bit here. So I think it's a little better. Is that better? Well, I think it is. I don't know. Uh, but uh, but yeah, yeah, we had a lot of logistics to work out and everything on what we're fixing to do. So uh, we're gonna get into it here in just a little bit. 
But we hope everybody out there is doing well. I hope everybody's staying safe. And warm. Yeah, stay safe and warm, safe and warm. Yes, uh, don't get out unless you absolutely yeah. have to. The beauty of doing what we're doing is we're able to, uh, oh, take precautions rather easily, uh, you know. Uh, we meet lots and lots of people on the road, and that's one of the things that we look forward to. But fortunately, everybody that we meet, you know, they all, of course, they're all in our age generation, so they're a little more extra cautious when it comes to what's going on around us right now. So when we all visit, even when we have dinner together, we're very careful to, you know, keep our distance, but yet no, it's not so far apart that we can't have a, a great visit and things like that, which, which, we, uh, which we do rather often. So we, uh, we really appreciate the fact that we're able to still socialize, to meet awesome folks with the same interests that we have, and yet still feel safe while we're doing it. How else can I put that? I think that was put very well, because yeah. that's yeah. basically true. And yeah. today, since it rained all night long, we decided, you know what, let's just put the grocery list together, go in and buy groceries I this think, afternoon. Yeah, we're going to run up to Gainesville here in a little while and buy some groceries to get us by. I just saw Din pop up. He yeah, he, he's speculating on what we're doing here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. I don't think I'm going to have um, a wine cellar, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't need but a full basement of wine. We need to tell them about what we discovered. You know, a lot of you know we're going to get into what we're doing here in a little bit. Well, that's just a five more minutes. Yeah, five more minutes, and we'll get into waiting to make sure that everybody has come on board here, as many as gone to anyway. Um, a lot of you know that our favorite wine is the wine that we found in Arkansas when we toured the Post Winery, and it's their Post uh, Concord. Right. Yeah. And one reason why we liked it so well, and we found this out later, was... Because it's got really good flavor. It's, yeah, it's got really good flavor. <laughs> but it's also, what, 18, 19% alcohol, which is, you know, a wine to have that kind of alcohol content is... Uh, well, the, the, the idea behind that, we would drink smaller glasses. That's right. And you do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway... What we found out when we went to Post Winery was the reason why it has the alcohol content that it does is because uh, they, for lack of a better term, they spike it with brandy. Right. Yeah. So when we left Arkansas, we found all of a sudden that you couldn't find that wine anywhere, you know, outside no. of Arkansas, no. which uh, was a little disappointing. So we started doing some experimenting, and first I found some uh, grape brandy. And we tried mixing grape brandy with regular uh, Carlo and Rossi uh, sweet, red. sweet red. And it was okay, but it didn't quite duplicate it as much. And then one of our neighbors one day, I, I had commented to one of our neighbors that uh, I think blackberry brandy would be perfect. And next thing I know, uh, she had went in to buy groceries and she come back and she said, look what I got for y'all. And she picked up a bottle of Hiram Walker blackberry brandy. Yep. And then uh, Deb exp experimented with the uh, formula formula <laughs> mixture. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we pretty much, we got really, really close I, I to, to duplicating. Three cups what? of sweet wine and one cup of brandy. Yeah. Mix that together. And I just keep doing that until I'm out of the brandy. <laughs> <laughs> and back but, into a jug. And then we've got spiked wine, and it's pretty close. Yeah, we call it spiked wine, but it's yeah. it's it, it's it mimics the taste of the post wine at, from Post Winery in uh, in Arkansas, uh, pretty close, and the uh, the mellowing effect is very similar as well. How, how do I put that? Joyce, if I could send heat your way, I would certainly <laughs> send heat your way. Um, uh, of course, we're not overly. This is almost you know perfect. Everything except swimming. Yeah. A big old tree branch just broke way over there. Wow. Just tumbled yeah. to the ground. Yeah. Either that or it's Bigfoot. And by the way, Does Florida uh, have Bigfoot? Uh, oh, yeah. Every, every state has Bigfoot. Oh, okay. Every, yeah. Every single state. Uh, uh, I don't think you'll find Bigfoot out in Quartzsite, Arizona. Well, there's no place for him to hide. <laughs> you know, I really feel sorry for y'all. Y'all need to load up and come down here. We're, yeah. you know, low 60s. Yeah, right now. Tomorrow's supposed to be 71. No sun yeah. tomorrow. 
But Tuesday we're supposed to start seeing sun. Yeah, again. we'll take it. We'll take it. You know, and the thing about it is, we'll talk about this right, and then we'll get into what we're getting ready to do. Okay. Um, we're in north central Florida. Uh, the best way to describe it, most everybody knows where Gainesville is. We're just about 35 miles a little north and west of Gainesville, Florida. We're kind of in the middle. In fact, it's an hour and 15 minutes to Silver Spring State Park. Which towards we hope the east to go coast. see. And it's an hour and 15 minutes to Cedar Key. From which we here, hope to go see. Which we hope to go see. <laughs> yeah. Which we're going to go. We're going to go see here in the next few days. Uh, we're watching the weather reports to see how the weather's going to be at those places. Yeah, because we want it to be sunshine. Yeah, we want it to be. Yeah, so we can get some good footage for y'all to watch and everything. But we absolutely love this part of Florida. Now, Deb has never been south of here. I have when I was younger. And but this area here, it's more of a rural kind of thing. You know what I mean? I love it. It's not the big city mm -mm. type thing, and we really do like it here. There's and, how many springs? Freshwater oh, springs? Oh, my goodness. Unreal how many freshwater springs. That's the springs. big draw here, yeah. I guess, is the and, freshwater, uh, clear water rafting. You know, and it's just like on the Santa Fe River where that we kayaked just the other day, and we uploaded that video yesterday. I didn't realize that, but I think that on one of the plaques we read, there was like 75 springs that feed that river all together. It's amazing. Yeah. And they just bubble up out of the ground. Yeah. You yeah. know, it, it's, it's, um, wow, I didn't even know that sort of thing existed. Yeah. And we would come up on those spots while we were kayaking and just see this water just, you know, just bubbling up out of the ground. And it was really, really cool. Really you know? cool. Yeah. And if you weren't careful, you'd get caught in one of them and you'd spin it around. I don't around think around. so. No. <laughs> I think he's exaggerating. No, you, you could paddle through it with no sweat. It wasn't like that at all. But anyway, <laughs> it was cool to watch though when you'd see little bits of debris uh going around in circles and stuff like that on some of these so anyway we uh we're really having a blast here uh in this part of florida and we're going to be here just a little while longer all right is it time yes to, yes how many folks do we have on we right have now? 118 wow and that's awesome yeah. and it is now 10 30 so we're officially here good morning everyone yeah, thanks for joining us this morning <laughs> Um, uh, Bill has been hinting at an announcement for a while. Are you going to make the announcement or are you going to build up to all the steps along the way? I'll make the announcement. We sold our trailer. <laughs> How's now, that? Now the steps along the now, way. <laughs> the steps along the way. And, uh, okay, before we go any further, though, yes, we are building a new trailer. We're not stopping this lifestyle. We're not stopping this lifestyle at all. Okay. So we'll get that part over with right now. <laughs> now we're going to go into the logistics and what we had to work out. We had mentioned several months ago, I think way back when we were still park attendants. At, uh, uh, no, it, it, was it wasn't back, that far back. Like November, mm, middle of maybe November, so. we were at Prairie Creek. Oh, okay, that's why that sounds yes. so familiar to me. But we had mentioned a few months ago that, uh, you know, we would consider selling a trailer uh, because we'd like to build a new one. And we did. Bill loves to build things. Yeah. Deb, not so much. I mean, I well, love it, but it's Deb, work. <laughs> Deb has much higher expectations of what I'm able to accomplish in a day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now that we made that big announcement, is a bunch of them left or are they still hanging on? They're still hanging oh, on. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> anyway, um, the pro the, what we had to work out, because uh, like I say, we did have a few people that expressed interest, and we did talk to a few people about it. But here's what we had to work out. And keep in mind, everybody, the trailer, the current one that we still have possession of, the current one is our only home. Yes, that's our and home. We have no other place to go. No. So we've got to have some place to live while we were building a new one. Okay. So if we were to sell it to someone that wanted to go ahead and get it now, all of a sudden... We'd be homeless. We'd be homeless. You know, and we'd have to either go try to rent an apartment again or, or lease a house or something like that. Or go, go buy a ready-built one, which, yeah. you and, know. And we did look into that. We did look into buying a r regular RV. Yeah. yeah. And there was one in particular that we kind of liked. Well, but I think still. we thought along that line for about 12 hours. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> thought about it for a while, and then we started considering the things that I did not like for one thing, you know, the typical shower pan in a typical RV. I'm a big guy. Okay. I know, I know it's hard to tell, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but I'm a big guy. And, uh, 
man, when I step in some of these showers and these RVs and I hear it popping and cracking and stuff like that, that makes me real nervous, you know. So little things, you know, the bug is, and the headroom is a big issue, huge issue. So uh, we we thought about that for a bit, came real close to going ahead and working a deal on one, and then we decided, nope, that's not the way to go. But uh, what happened was, as time went on, we had a gentleman contact us with a sincere interest in the trailer, and he had a lot of other things going for him as far as us making the sale with him. Um, he didn't necessarily need to take possession of it immediately, and that was one, one, number one. That was number one. <laughs> number two is he had property where he would let us come and park in the current trailer. That's number two. We have a home. <laughs> That's number two. We have a place to stay. And this property was large enough and had enough room that it would accommodate bringing the new trailer there to build it. So he was uh, he was ready to let us come to his property in the current trailer, live in the current trailer while we we're building the new trailer all on his property. And so that just kind of solved yeah, all those issues. The, all those we issues were... all of a sudden went away. Now all of a sudden we have, you know, so what's the next excuse? So yeah, we got with him and everything. We checked with the company, which we went back to rock solid again. Uh, we want, we're having a new rock solid trailer built and we'll get into the details on the trailer and how it's going to be built this time. But, uh, uh, the issue that we had when we contacted Rock Solid, and this is not just with Rock Solid, this is with all the cargo trailer manufacturers right now, is there's a little bit of a material shortage going on, which throws them a little bit behind. They have a backlog a right now. A little bit? <laughs> you know, in the past, you could get a trailer made in three to four weeks. Now they're telling us eight to 12. So realistically, it might be as late as May, uh, the first week in May before we can pick up the new trailer. Well, the person that's buying the trailer we have was okay with that. So all that still works out. So we went ahead and uh, placed the order for the new trailer. And uh, so anyway, all that stuff is going to work out. It's just going to take a little bit of time. And the nice thing about it is in the meantime, we will be able to continue using the current trailer. Now, what this particular person did, he gave us a uh, what we call it earnest money, a small deposit in earnest money, uh, which we turned around and used to uh, put the deposit down on the new trailer being built. And then of course, when we're able to go pick up the new trailer, then we will go ahead and settle up with him, yet he will still let us live in the current trailer while we're building which the new one. awfully generous of him. Yeah, wonderful. And his wife. Awesome dude, awesome yes. dude. We're not going to mention any names right now or anything like that. We might get into that later, but right now, that's all you really need to know. Um, so, as far as actual build, doing the build out on the inside of the trailer, it's probably not going to begin until sometime in May. So, in the meantime, what we're doing is we're going to stay at the current campground that we are at now for, uh, I see, up through March the 8th or so, I think. 8th or 9th, I don't remember. Yeah, somewhere it right might be there. the 9th. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to start moseying back carefully to Northwest Arkansas with the current trailer. Uh, and by then the weather better be better. I hope so. <laughs> you guys think warm thoughts. But we're planning on landing back in Northwest Arkansas sometime uh, around the third week in March. Okay. And we got to take care of business there. And then April 15th, we're going to start moseying back to this person's property, which is within, which is uh, uh, under three hours away from Douglas, Georgia, where the trailer is being built. Okay. Yes, we're going red again. Yeah, and we are going red again. That's yeah, kind of yeah. our thing. Yeah, we'll talk about that here in just a second too. We'll get in <laughs> more into that in a second. So anyway, we got to go back to Arkansas, take care of some business. There's a few maintenance things I want to do with the van to make sure we don't have another uh, major breakdown like we did here a couple months or three months back. We had doctors. Uh, yeah, and we got doctor's appointments and stuff like and, that. And we want to see our children. Yeah, yeah. Make sure <laughs> they time. still, you know, they're still breathing and everything and all that stuff. Of course, we talk to them just practically every day. Yes. At least some of them. Try yeah. to let them know yeah. that we're yeah. alive and kicking. So anyway, that's our plan. So in the meantime, we will be, uh, you know, uploading more videos about our travels. Uh, on When we're headed back to Arkansas, we're going to, on the way back, we're going to go to some different campgrounds that we did when we came back down this direction. 
So you'll, we'll have something else to show you, something new and fresh, you know, along the way. And periodically along the way, we will give you updates on the production of the trailer and things like that and how things are going as far as that's concerned. Um, now, as far as the trailer is concerned, and uh, this, the, the current trailer that we have now is a 7 by 16, 7 feet tall. So it's 7 feet tall, 7 feet wide, 16 feet long, plus the depth of the V, of course. Uh, the new one will be an 8.5 by 20, 7 6 tall. And there's reasons for that, and I'll go into that a little bit more here in a little bit. Uh, this one will not have a RV door at the back like we did on the one that we have now. This time we're going to have two RV doors on the side. One in the kitchen and yeah. one in going into the bathroom area right, again. at the back, which is between the fender wells at the back and the back of the trailer, there will be a side door there which will go into the bathroom, which this time we'll put the bathroom in the back and the kitchen in the front. And yes, the bed's still going to be in the middle. <laughs> yeah, but being wider, we can yeah, walk around. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll have a walk around bed. But the bed's still going to be in the middle. Uh, Just a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, but we will have room to walk around the bed this time because it's at eight and a half wide. And we're going to incorporate, yeah, as you know, you know, we periodically do walkthrough videos of other trailer builds and things like that. And there's a lot of little things that I picked up along the way, or we picked up along the way, that we're going to incorporate in this one from things that we learned from the others. And uh, one of the most impressive things, and, and uh, y'all remember Marvin and Mary's walkthrough video. If not, go back and watch it. Yeah, go back and watch the one about Marvin and Mary. We got this great idea from him. <laughs> right. Uh, Marvin used to have a sailboat. And in this sailboat for the bathroom and the shower area, they used a sump pump which would pump because the, the shower set low down below deck and they used they had a special kind of sump pump that would pump the gray water from the shower up and out or up into a, uh, a holding tank or I guess when you're out beyond the three mile limit or whatever, it's okay to pump it into the ocean, I guess. I don't know. I don't know those I don't ways. know and don't hold me to that. Don't quote <laughs> me on that. But um, he incorporated this same type of sump pump in his trailer that he built so that he could have an onboard gray water tank, not below the floor where it's exposed, right. you know, between the frame rails, but up above on the floor of the trailer. And in his particular case, he put that gray water tank, I believe, under the kitchen cabinet somewhere. I yeah. believe it's yeah. at least. And it's a 30 gallon uh, gray water tank, but the shower pumps the water up into that. So he has an onboard gray water tank and you know, with the one that we have right now, the way we designed it, we, we use auxiliary tanks that we, we connect to the outside of the trailer. And then those were able to haul up to the dump station. So uh, we're gonna incorporate that, that we learned from Marvin. Uh, the reason why we, we made the trailer seven, six tall, rather than seven foot tall, like we do on this one, is because where the shower is gonna go, I'm gonna elevate that particular part of the floor around six inches or so, so that the sump pump will fit there easily and it'll drain into that real easily before it pumps it on over to the to the uh, gray water uh, holding tank. Okay, go back to the size. You've got a concern okay. Okay. that I guess it's re going to the size of the trailer, too much weight for the van. No, the van, the van will, the van is rated to-, to uh, He won't let me go any bigger because no. of the van. The van is rated to tow up over 8,000 pounds, close to 9,000 pounds. And in fact, the way we've got it set up, we're probably, if, if you, you know, with, uh, with the auxiliary transmission cooler, uh, the, uh, the other things that we did, like airbags on the back and things like that, we could probably go beyond that. But I won't be anywhere near that, that weight, nowhere near that. As far as the build is concerned on the inside, we won't be adding any more weight than we have on the 7 by 16. Well, the only thing we'll have different is we've got an area, and that's one of the reasons we decided to do this size, is we have an area that will house Bill's guitar and some of his other sound equipment, so that when he wants to practice, he can just reach over, grab his guitar off of a shelf, hanging, whatever, we haven't determined all that, and sit down and practice. So, I guess you could say the only extra weight that we will be putting in there is whatever that little bit of stuff weighs yeah but which isn't much it doesn't weigh much of anything I not mean, much. It, oh yeah if you add it all up maybe 100 pounds 
But the only difference in weight between the eight and a half by 20 and the seven by 16 is gonna be the original weight of the trailer before the build, okay? And that's the only additional weight involved here. Now also on this one, we're also going with uh, uh, 5,200 pound axles, whereas the other one has 3,500 pound axles. Straight axles. axles. <laughs> and they're straight axles. So we'll be sitting higher off the ground. So uh, and that's- And how high will your doors be that you walk in? Oh, 78 inches. <laughs> and I won't be banging my head on the uh, top of the door anymore. These doors will be 78 inches tall. Um, now by 36 inches wide. Now that insinuates that I need extra width to be able to get in and out. Yep. I don't need extra. I got plenty of room there. But anyway, uh, uh, but yeah, 78 inch tall doors, and I'm 75 inches tall. Six foot three would be 75. 70. So hey, I might I might graze my hat, you know, when I walk <laughs> in. But that's about it. So uh, we're excited about that part too. So the bathroom will be at the back. We'll have a four foot shower, by the way, a 34 inch by 48 inch shower pan. And probably what we're going to use for the shower walls, and we learned this from watching George on- um, Humble Road. Yeah, the name of his channel is Humble Road. You need to check out George on Humble Road. He's, uh, he's in New Jersey and he builds custom vans. And man, the vans that he builds and the way he does them and the engineering that goes into them is Wow, it's just absolutely fabulous what he does. And he's fun to watch too. But he uses a uh, uh, PVC sheeting that's a full half inch thick. Um, and Lowe's, you can get it at Lowe's, made by Royal Products at Lowe's. 48 by, set by, uh, by 96 inch, four foot by eight foot sheets, half inch thick, pure PVC. And you can even get all kinds of trim in this stuff as well. And that's what George uses for the shower walls, or at least that's what he did on one of them that we watched. Well, that's where we learned about you know, this and product. We've we never about heard of it product. before. Yeah. Now it's about what eighty some dollars a sheet. It's not cheap. No, but no. it's cheaper than buying pre-made shower walls. That's true, and uh, it's you know uh, moisture doesn't doesn't hurt it. No. So we were standing there looking at it the other day at Lowe's, um, and a lady came up, and obviously she was a contractor because you know. Yeah, she's trim carpenter. <laughs> And she was picking up some trim pieces, and I asked her about it and told her what we were planning on doing. And she said, well, I put it on porches all the time, and it holds up wonderfully. Yeah. You can get all kinds and, of trim. Just It looks like you can get baseboard, all kinds of stuff made out of this product. Now. Crown molding. You yeah. know, you just never know. Yeah. <laughs> Crown molding. <laughs> but uh, that's what we're going to use for the shower walls. We're going to use a standard... Uh, 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 34 inch by 48 inch pan that we'll be getting at Lowe's as well. Be made by the same company that made the one that we have. Uh, like I say, the, the, the shower will be elevated roughly six inches off of the floor uh, to accommodate where the sump pump will be going as well. And that's the reason why we got seven, six height this time. That way I'll still have plenty of headroom above. So that's what we're after. And somebody's writing in all caps. So what? Uh... Oh, now faded away. Maybe it's here. No all caps. Oh, okay, You're I guess confused. I was I was looking at something wrong. Um, but anyway, that's our plan on that. What else? Okay. Uh, it's just some people are expressing interest and glad we're doing it, and we'll love to come along. And um, we can't afford an all aluminum trailer. Sorry. Yeah, we we love to do that, but we just you know here again, folks, we're on a very tight budget. You know, we the only income we have is what we draw on social security and between the two of us between the two of us we draw less than eighteen hundred dollars a month in social security between the two of us uh, the uh the only other additional income we have is whatever the youtube channel generates so we are going to have to watch our budget real close now we do have a little bit to use you know from the sale of this trailer but quite honestly it's not going to be enough to do everything that we really want to do um, a mini so, split this time. Uh, we are strong consideration. considering it. Yes. Yeah. Um, Very strong. We have, we're trying to look at all different alternatives and mm -hmm. um, we're looking at building this one possibly where we could once in a while boondock for three or four days. Um, just one thing we are going to do. Okay. Let me get into that a little bit here. So, cause I know we're going to have questions about that. We are going to have, at least one 
uh, lithium ion battery. Uh, I'm looking at a single uh, 300 amp hour lithium ion battery. Rather than going with multiple batteries, I got I want to keep it as simple as possible. So we are going to have a, probably a, and I've been checking into it and checking all of the logistics and everything. This is kind of new stuff to me. But we'll also be set up, if we go with a 300 amp hour lithium ion battery, we'll have a 3000 watt um, inverter. And uh, one of our followers and good friends have already gifted to us an automatic switching device that would automatically switch from shore power over to uh, internal power. Uh, but we're also going to lay it out. So and I'm watching the, lots of... Uh, we're watching Will Prowse a lot right now. <laughs> Lots of them. Yeah, we're watching Will stuff. Prowse. I mean, he's 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 getting a lot of lot of uh, imp, a lot of uh, uh, view time from us right now. But we are going to design this in such a way where it'll be real easy to add solar panels and then bring the uh, the feed down from the solar panels into a uh, uh, controller. It's a and, lithium iron phosphate okay, battery. I, there you go. I know. <laughs> Lithium Good ion that you phosphate. corrected him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do know that that's what it was. I was just abbreviating it, okay? Uh, I'm a fast learner. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's what our plan is there. So that when, and, and this is going to be as budget allows. Now, for some reason, the, the build series really takes off and the revenue stream increases where we have more funds to utilize toward this. We'll go ahead and keep on going. Uh, one thing I tell you, I'll tell you right now that we're not going to do, we're not going to get involved in Patreon. We're not going to get involved in all this other stuff because I have this. All we this, have done along that line, because we've had some others request is um, on some of our videos and we can even post it on this once we get it uploaded is buy us a cup of coffee and you can become a member on that when we may or may not do that part because when you become a member <laughs> then you have to agree to pay an x amount each well, month yeah. and i'm i have reservations about yeah. asking folks to do things like that right so probably all we will do and that's another reason why we don't get into patreon or we don't get into all this other stuff because i have reservations about that kind of stuff you know uh you know, basically saying, okay, you can become one of our Patreons and yeah, you'll get these little bitty perks over here and these little bitty perks over here, but it's going to cost you. You're going to have to agree to pay X amount of dollars per month. I personally have reservations about that. Now, if folks want to uh, show their appreciation, one thing that we will, one platform that we have used it before and we'll continue to use it is the very simple platform of buy me a cup of coffee. Yep. And on the buy me a cup of coffee thing, it's one to five cups and they're three dollars a cup so you know if you feel the urge to to uh, help us out that's the easiest way right there and we will post that uh, link fairly often you know so that that's uh, that's available to you if you feel the the need to do something like that and believe me it will be very very much appreciated but we are not going to get into all this other Patreon stuff and stuff, stuff like that. Now, we may eventually get into merchandise and things. Uh, well, but, that, that would require one of us to become, get into it. <laughs> well, I know. That's your job. <laughs> I know. Not my job. <laughs> now, another thing we're going to do with this build series, okay, when it does start, mm -hmm. we are going to list the cost all the way from beginning to end. So as a lot of people always wonder, how much does it cost to do this? How much does it cost to do that? We are going to list the cost from the beginning to the end. We will and start out. Yes, I'm planning on doing an affiliate with Amazon. I've been looking into that because a lot of the stuff we're going to be putting in this trailer is going to be ordered from Amazon because it's such fast delivery. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, yes, and, I and, will be. I am working on that. It is not set up yet. Yeah. And the thing about it is where we're going to be actually doing the build of uh, this gentleman has beautiful property. We've been there. We've been to his place and everything, but we're a little ways away from Lowe's and Home Depot. Right. Um, so, uh, but you know, Amazon, we're, we went back to Amazon prime. We're back set up with Amazon prime. So now I can watch some of my favorite Amazon shows, you know, that I used to watch before again. Um, but, uh, uh, with Amazon prime, we can usually have something delivered within two days. Is that correct? usually yes okay yes. Right. depending on what it is and if they still have it in stock right. 
Okay, anything else we need to talk about? Um, learn tons from real pros. Yes, he's quite knowledgeable. Um, how long are we expecting? To build it? Well, here's the thing on this one. Because we know more about what we're doing. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> We really think that this one will go quite a bit faster than the last one did. Um, I definitely don't want this one to stretch out for a year and four months like it took on the last one. But keep in mind, when we were building the last one, I was also working semi full time. And uh, the only time we really had to work on the last one was on the weekends. And we had to do a lot of tons of research. Yeah, and, and there was so much stuff that we did not know that we automatically know on this one. Um, that you know we've already been there done that so we know what to expect uh let's talk about windows for a minute for instance we're not going to have the factory install the windows this time we're going to install our own windows and uh i uh and the reason why we're going to do that for one thing number one we don't know exactly you know our design is going to vary it when we actually get in there and start building our layout that's going to vary an inch or two from what we have on our graph paper right now. But we will show you our graph design. Maybe. Oh yeah. Um, I've got it all drawn out with possible placements. Yeah. <laughs> because I've got a question here. Um, will you do the color styles and make your counters again? We're looking at. Um, yeah wooden counters this time I mean they were wooden last time but I painted them but this time we're looking at doing a little bit different we are actually I'm considering doing the retro red because I can get a refrigerator a microwave a toaster oven all in the retro red and so I am considering doing a lot of white with red accents um, that's not set in stone yet either, but that is the way I'm leaning. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I like it. Of course, I like red anyway. You know, it's going to be red on the outside. So I've, I've so. been getting pictures and save them and into a collage. And here again, we can share that with you all as we go along. And, um, and as far as the, to let you be part of our journey. Yeah. But as far as the windows are concerned, what we're going to do um, is I found a uh, source for windows back east and north. Um, and we're, we, we found windows that will fit perfectly between the metal studs. I don't want to cut any metal studs this time. So we found windows that will fit, fit perfectly between the metal studs. And wherever the windows end up needing to be, if we want a larger window surface, uh, we'll stack them side to side. You know, Dan, to get don't give Bill any ideas about building every two years. Uh, no. Please. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's how we're going to do the windows. Now... The windows that we have in this one are 30 by 30s. And quite honestly, we had issues with them leaking and we didn't really go into great detail about that uh, when we were doing the build on the one before. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Because so many people out there in YouTube land, are you nudging me? Yes, I am. So many people out there in YouTube land, just wait. They're, they're wanting to see you fail in something so they can get on the, in the comment section and tell you how stupid you are. Okay. And okay. Yes. He's doing another slant nose. And yes. <laughs> I know he complained before, but I'm yes. doing it again. And Delilah has her space. She allows us to live in it with her. Well, let me finish my comment. <laughs> So, subject yeah, people. our windows leaked <laughs> and we had to pull them out. Uh, we actually, we removed them twice. And the first time we pulled them out and just tried to go in with a caulk and then reseal them back in. And that didn't work. And finally, the one thing that did work is we pulled them out. I went and got butyl tape and lined them with butyl tape, put them back in. And now they don't leak anymore. But part of the reason why we had the problem with them leaking is because some of the windows the way we had placed them had overlapped over seams in the uh, in the skin well when they overlap over those seams you know it's really hard to get that seal and the only way i was able to seal that eventually was to go with butyl tape you know and so i could really squish it in there make it ooze up all around the window and i still have yet to get it all nice and clean but uh, but we're going to go with these windows instead where we won't be overlapping over a seam they'll be fitting in between the studs and we'll stack them out to the, get the to a to get to the size opening we want at any given spot on the trailer another thing that we don't like about the 30 by 30s is they open this way so the fact that they open this way 
uh, or at least less the way they install them on our trailer. The fact that they open this way, uh, when you have rain like we had last night, you can't crack them because they're still going to be, the opening is still going to be all the way up and down, so you're still going to have water coming in. And uh, whereas with the uh, narrower windows, they will open this way, and then we can open one or two or three, however, however many we have in that particular stack of windows to arrive at that particular size opening. So that's another reason why we're going with the windows that will fit between the studs is for that reason. Semi-screwless. Uh, and yes, we're going with a semi-screwless exterior this time rather than uh, full, full uh, screwed exterior like we had before um, on that. So yes, so it's gonna be red, it's gonna have a slant nose. Gonna, and we don't want to hear him complaining. Screwless siding, because mm -hmm. he's the one at the end said, I think it's semi -screwless. Semi -screwless. semi screwless. Semi screwless. Yes. Um, we're putting our own windows in. Yes. So basically, we're getting it. Oh, and the, I had another question here. What kind of door at the back? We're not having any door at the back. Nope. We're going to have them build a solid wall yep. across the back. Yeah, this is going to be made to live in. It's not going to be made to haul toys or anything like that. It's going right. to be made as our tiny home. Just We're going to have two side doors. The back will be totally solid. There will probably be a window back there above the toilet. Yeah. But that's, but that's it back there right. on the back. Uh, and that will give us a nice big spot there to put a big old I Ride Tiny House Adventures um, uh, plaque, Look, yeah. uh, sticker or something back something there so back that there. when so people can pull us over when we're going down the road like they did Traveling Robert here the, on one of his last videos. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would really be cool. Um, anyway, any other questions we need um, to deal with? Just lots of people are excited. Um, jealous some of them because you know now you're going to make them want to do it yes That's the, the side idea. doors will be on the same side of the trailer which they'll be is, on what you call the passenger side which is the side that when you're at a campground is right. where the picnic tables and this and that right. are right um we debated all kinds of different places but we decided to do that one because of ease of parking the trailer mm -hmm. and um now, something else I'll mention to you, too, that we're going to incorporate in this particular build, and that's going to be done no matter what, is um, you all might remember we did, uh, we've done two or three videos on this in the past where we stay at a lot of campgrounds where they don't have water at the site, nor do they have sewer at the site. Right. And that's one reason, because they don't have sewer at the site, that's why we went with the current trailer we have, why we utilize the auxiliary tanks that have wheels. And we just hook them straight up to our sewer drains, and then we hook them onto the back of the van, haul them up to the to the dump station, and dump them. Um, now, as far as water transfer, we have a 50-gallon freshwater tank in the current trailer we have. The new one will have 55-gallon freshwater tank. We also have a 42-gallon freshwater tank in the van. And so, when when we're at a campsite where they don't have water to site and they don't have sewer to site. Uh, when we go up to dump our gray tanks at the sewer dump, then we go find the nearest uh, potable water, which usually there's a, a, a one nearby, not the one next to the dump site. That's not used for potable water. <laughs> I would. Uh, no, don't, please don't use. We that have one. seen people fill their freshwater tank out of that one. You please know, that's that right one. next to the dump site. No, folks, don't do that because <laughs> people use that to clean out their slinky hose. Don't do that. But. They usually have another one not too far from there that is too far away to be used, although I wouldn't put it past some doing I'm it. I'm still but, hesitant. <laughs> but that's when we fill our fresh water tank in the van, and then when we back up to the trailer, when we get back to the trailer, we go ahead and hook up our gray water tanks again to the outside. And then, you know, I have a transfer pump already mounted in the van. I hook up a, a hose, uh, take it over to the uh, gravity water fill on the trailer. I throw a switch, and it's transferring the water into the trailer. So we can get all that done in 30 minutes, okay? What we're going to do on this one, since we'll have an onboard gray tank inside the trailer, uh, and it'll be 55 gallons as well, I'm going to install another 55-gallon dedicated gray tank in the van. And I'm going to have another transfer pump that transfers the gray water from the trailer into the gray water tank in the van. And that way I won't have to be picking up these tanks anymore. And then I'll be able to just go straight to the dump station, uh, dump my gray water. I'll open up the back doors. I'll have a regular slinky hose hook up there with a gate valve, pop the gate valve, boom, dump the gray water into the, uh, at the dump station. 
fill up my tank and do the same thing all over again, only this time, of course, I won't be having to lift anything. So when we order our tanks, we're going to order three at once. We're going to order the freshwater tank and the two gray water tanks, one for the trailer and one for the van. And that is because the vast majority of the time, most of the campgrounds we stay at uh, do not have do not have sewer at the site. Now, some of them will have water at the site, but practically all of them do not have sewer at the site. So we're, we're going to take it one step further than what we've been doing to make it even easier. Because even though I'm still a tough booger, I'm getting older, right? Um, question, are we going to insulate the floor again this time? We are going to insulate the floor this time. Um, yes, and it's something that uh, what we're having them do uh, at the trailer manufacturer, we're going to actually, we're going to put three quarter inch foam down on the floor and with a decking on top of that. And we'll use one by twos as our stringers and then put the foam down in between the stringers, of course, and they will be spaced properly. So they'll have plenty of support. Don't get, don't, you know, I've been in construction all my life, so don't start telling me what I need to do there. Um, and, um, uh, but then, uh, what we're having the trailer manufacturer do to make it simpler we're actually having them raise the doors uh, a little over an inch off of the floor to accommodate all that so we won't have to worry about trying to taper down to the door when we get to the door the doors will actually be raised off of the floor where the thre threshold begins so that all that's going to fit perfectly and that's one of the things we incorporated into this uh, into what we sent the uh, trailer manufacturer to do that was a good idea someone mentioned uh, possibly setting up and that's something we'll talk about uh -huh. um, it's set up a wish list on Anna's Amazon hey cool and that way if people wanted yeah. to they could go in and buy those particular items that might be I don't know how to do all that Can I put but, that $500 saw on that wish list that I'm wanting um, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> but I'll look into that um, that's a great idea. I have a um, I just put it in my cart and then save it for later <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Because as we're finding things, we go ahead and so we when we get right down to it, we can just say, okay, order that, order that, order that. Um, and one thing I do need to mention, and Tucker might be watching right now, and I should have mentioned it long before now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this time for our broker, we went through Renown. Uh, they're the trailer brokers there in Douglas, Georgia. We went through Renown and our salesperson was tucker and tucker has been very 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 patient, patient with me <laughs> and helpful and mm. we highly recommend we for one thing we do still recommend rock solid trailers absolutely we we cannot complain about our rock solid trailer yeah the windows leak but hey you know here again like i've always said they're not building it for us to live in it's up to us to make it to, to get it to where we want it to do it. They, they build cargo trailers, folks. That's what they do. They build cargo trailers. That's what they do. So it's up to us to make the make them where they're going to be suitable for the use that we intend to use them for. But uh, Tucker was very, very helpful at Renown. You can look up Renown Trailer Sales or Renown Cargo Trailer Sales. They're in Douglas, Georgia. And uh, But be sure and ask for Tucker and tell him that I... I, I sent you, you know, uh, he would appreciate that. Uh, but we really do appreciate Tucker. And, uh, and uh, usually if, if he can't get right back to me, if I've got a question, he gets back to me as soon as he possibly can. Right. So, and, that, that's and, and we're not that we talking really over just a, a few days. This yeah. has been going on, been for, going on for a while. month or so. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Constant conversations. <laughs> uh, anything else? You, that um, no, um, just um, chit chatting. So we've had a lot of great ideas and we appreciate all of you coming on. 241 people here. Wow, fa fabulous. And, Fantastic. Um, we will keep you posted in between our other uh, exploring videos. Yeah. Um, I wish I could find somebody that could help me with a, you know, I can, I can draw out. The, the floor plan is going to be interesting. Uh, I have it drawn, drawn out on graph paper. Well, yeah, we have it drawn on graph paper, but there's still things that's hard for some folks to visualize. And I wish I could do this in such a way to make it easy to visualize. The, the Both of the tanks are going to be over the axle center line. I'm a firm believer in that. And the battery bank itself, even though it's still got, it's going to be one uh, battery, uh, most likely a 300 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. Um, 
even though it's going to just be one, it'll still be, you know, under the bed, but it'll be down at the foot of the bed. Okay. In fact, it may even be in a section beyond the foot of the bed, but it's going to be right there where the fender wells are. Everything will be right there, uh, uh, close to the axle center line. Cause I'm, I, you know, I like to do that. Then it makes it easier for me to get the proper balance with the, with the additions that I do in the front and the back to, to get, uh, to get what I need as far as tongue weight is concerned in the end. Um, the way that's going to have to be done because of the, the fender wells stick up quite a ways. They stick up about that high. Uh, I think we measured some and they were like 12 inches or 12 and 11. a half high. Ours are 11. Or, are they? Okay, are 11. All right. And then they're, they come out, six you know, inches. about the six, six and a half to, <laughs> or so. So what we're going to have to do, the bed frame will be built taller, but of course, than the one we have now, but it can be built taller because we're six inches higher off, you know, that we got a higher roof line. And then we'll actually have on both sides of the bed, we'll have a, a step up, a stair tread that will step up. And then you'll have another step up uh, as you walk in front of the bed and then you'll step down onto the next step and then step down and back to the floor level for the bathroom in the back. And it's kind of hard to explain. But those step ups there, those stair treads, which will be nine inches high, will also make uh, way for perfect chase chases to run different wiring and stuff to get wiring from one side of the trailer to the other side of the trailer. They will work out beautiful for that. Um, we're going to have a closet on either side of the bed that will go all the way up. And then we'll have, if you remember how we utilize the, uh, the, the cubes, you know, in the shelf sections that what we'll have going over the top of the bed. Um, but these chases will also match on the other yeah. side of the trailer going the suggestion, up. Suggestion navigation nowhere. Yes, we do oh, watch we, him. Oh, we don't miss a we don't miss a video. His friend that does the three D. Right, designs. right, right. Might contact and I'm going to have to go back and find that. Uh, well, I was kind of hoping I might find a follower here that could do the CAD design <laughs> for us, you know, <laughs> and say here here's my present to you, uh, because it's hard for me to draw it in three D so people mm -hmm. could see it. But I'd love to be able to show something like that, like they did on Navigation Nowhere. We never miss uh, one of his episodes. Never do. Yeah, we 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 think he's a he's a genius. He truly is. He's he's truly. We a pleasure we want to, watch. to do an, a rendezvous. We're waiting to see what happens with this virus and how it pans out. It's starting to look a little hopeful, so maybe we can do a cargo yeah. trailer rendezvous in the near future. Yeah. And something else that we're 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 considering doing as well. We've already had two or three followers uh, to come and help us with certain aspects of the build that I need some help on. Like I can't weld, and I've got one one of our followers, and we become good friends, also uh, offered to come and help uh, do some welding that I want to have done uh, on certain parts of it, especially if we go with a mini split so we can weld up the platform. And then we've had another gentleman uh, help us with, uh, if we go with a mini split, to help us with uh, uh, getting it all hooked up properly, because this is all new stuff to me, although I'm pretty sure I could handle it. But he's also got the tools that we need, like vacuum pumps and things like that. He's already got all that stuff. So, and now one of these followers uh, that's offered to help us. Now he is wanting to build a new one himself and we will let that pan out later <laughs> and see what happens. But of course, if he, this is contagious, if he ends up doing another bill, then of course it's only fair that we go and help him. Right. And all of a sudden this has got our wheels to turn and wouldn't it be awesome if we could put together a group of our followers or those that are also a member of our, our family page on Facebook, that we could all get together and do things like this to go and help different people in, with certain aspects of their particular build. And so that's another thing that's kind of got us going here a little bit. And uh, so anyway, but uh, I mean, we're all becoming one big, huge family and we're all in this together. So, hey, why can't all of us have specialties? All of us have certain things that we're better at than others. So. Let's let's see if we can help each other out. But that's something that we're working on the possibly down the line. Anything else? No, I think that's about it for this announcement. Um, thank you for all of you coming on and sharing your thoughts. And um, how long have we been on? We have been on for 45 minutes. And uh, just make sure we don't have anything new here like James does. Who's James? Oh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I know who James is. Yeah, sure do. Build mm -hmm. two and raffle one off. Well, I haven't won the lottery yet. <laughs>
we looked into something like that and there's some legal aspects about that that you've got to yeah, be there's raf that raf yeah thing. It, it can be it can become uh, pretty complicated you got to make sure you have all your ducks in a row right. on something like that because we did look into that what okay, else okay that's just how many we, we got 250 here? people holy cow and that's pretty pretty dang awesome that's a whole lot more than comes on when i play music well there you are um <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, we'll have our 50th anniversary coming up. You know, it'll be here before we know it, July 3rd. Yeah, and we'll be where we have good internet. Yeah, we'll be where we have great internet. So, yeah, we will be playing. Unless we're still in. Something. We're not going to still be there then. <laughs> as far as our bill is concerned, we're hoping we can do it in 90 days. Yes. We're hoping we can do it in 90 days. I know somebody asked that, and I never finished answering the question. Right. That's, that's our uh, goal. Uh, we may have to actually move into it because I don't know how soon the people that are buying it will want to start using it for camping yeah. as well and since we're not getting our new one until May yeah you know we may have to get it hurry up so we can live in it and finish building as we're living in it so that they yeah. can have their camper to go camping this summer that's never a good idea to try to live in it while you're no, building but it but if that's what we got to do that's what we got to do you got to do know. what you got to do number one priority get it to the point where we can sleep shower and take care of the necessities of life. use the bathroom <laughs> and then the rest of it will come but uh anything else anything nope. else we need to cover nope. before we go so i appreciate y'all coming very much and uh we'll keep you posted yeah and uh man we we're just so tickled that so many folks came on to uh to be with us this morning it, it really makes us feel good doesn't yes. it yes yeah we love all of you people we love every one of you appreciate y'all yeah. we appreciate y'all and uh here again folks i uh, can't stress this enough we are having the time of our lives if you've been considering you know even if you can't do a build if you've been considering possibly getting an rv and and taking that stress off you know and go out there and enjoy life don't put it off any further than you have to take the steps to make sure to, to, to get you to that goal as soon as possible because man uh the the difference is just unreal in how we feel i'll, I'll never forget and i have a hard time <laughs> that's all right you're losing people so i am losing yeah. people <laughs> well, well now i'm back now after we had been full-timing for about mm -hmm. two or three weeks i remember we were sitting in a campground and it was in the evening. It was on a, a March evening. The air was crisp and cool. This particular section that we were at, it was full. Everybody had a campfire going up and down the road there. Everybody was talking and laughing and enjoying life. There was some uh, low volume music playing up and down. And I turned to Deb and I said, this is what I've been looking for. And I simply just took a deep breath and exhaled. And we've been exhaling ever since. <laughs> I mean, it was like all of a sudden the weight of this old rough world we live in was just lifted completely off of my shoulders. So. So do it. Do it. As soon as you can. As soon as you can. Thanks for watching. Because we're not camping. Nope. What are we doing? Living. We're living. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Right.